Well, do you ever worry about what might be on public doorknobs? The thought of germs and bacteria has driven one man to battle back. CTV's Michelle Gerwing introduces us to an inventor who's taking what he learned in the butcher shop to the lab to see if he can get a handle on the spread of infectious diseases. A visit to Archie's Meats in Starbuck, Manitoba is somewhat of a homecoming for Doug Olson. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? It's been a while. Been a while yeah. It's where he started his career as a meat cutter. In the walk-in cooler, there are cuts of meat preserving in a salt brine. Inspiration he's using to help break the bacterial chain. Every time I see a door handle, I'm thinking, how many people touch that? He's invented handle covers made of compressed salt blocks, the same kind livestock lick for nutrients. Olson says he got the idea while watching a TV show on threats to humanity. And number one threat was a bacteria-based plague. Olson enlisted the help of some researchers to see if salt would work as an antibacterial. He says the results were surprising. Their study was published in the Journal of Hospital Infection last October. It literally sucks the moisture out of that cell and killing it. University of Manitoba microbiologist Denise Bay says that process is called osmosis. She cautions the handles may not be the silver bullet in the fight against infectious disease. It was um, exciting, but it was highly preliminary. Bay says Olson's study only looked at MSRA bacteria. She would like to know how the surface will fare against other kinds, especially those that thrive in salt-rich environments. The only danger with using, um, introducing something that's antiseptic is that when you kill off your competitors, you can allow other competitors to establish. Olson's chiropractor, Alan Alton, has used the handle covers in his Edmonton area office for five years now. He says they give him peace of mind. I have a hundred different people every day touching the doors and using, you know, our, our public bathroom and those sort of things. Um, if there is even a, a small decrease, although it sounds like it's a pretty significant decrease, but even if there's a, a bit of decrease of communicable diseases or flus or cold viruses or those sort of things. Just gives you peace of mind. Olson says for him, even if it makes a small difference, it's worth the work. Even if we prevent 5% spread, that could affect thousands of lives. He hopes his handles will open a new door in the fight against threats that are too small for us to see. Michelle Gerwing, CTV News, Starbuck, Manitoba.